And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft with the Flexible Games Builders Pack. Yay. So, uh, yeah, if you have the if you have the uh, Twitch launcher, Builders Pack is in there, amongst all the other packs in there. You might have to search for it to find it, but I know what's in there. So, today I'd like to finish off this little build over here. It is actually going really, really well. Uh, these are all getting full. You can see we're now two. We're now in the second layer. So this one up here is maxed out, and now it's starting to fill this one down here. And we're slowly adding power, and we are now in a state where look at all the wood in here. Oh, there's a lot of wood. Uh, I'm kind of watching the sludge here and seeing, seeing if it will operate even with a full tank of sludge. If it does, that's great. Uh, that's a little less worry for me. Uh, I don't really want to have to void. I don't really have a cactus on hand. I can't I can't void it. Okay. But to finish out this little build over here, we need a one of those block placers from Actually Additions. And in order to do that, we need the Atomic Reconstructor. Yeah, this thing here is what we're going for. So I smelted up some of the black quartz ore that we got to get some of this black quartz. But that, uh, that iron casing is what we're after. And then we want the atomic reconstructor. Now this beast is an interesting block. This is going to be very, very interesting. So it's going to go right there. And we need a button for it. We need a redstone torch. So let's grab, let's grab a stick. Get a redstone torch. Get, just drop, there we go. Drop that. And we need a button, which I think, it's not cobble, I think it's smooth stone. Yeah, it has to be smooth stone. Uh, so I think that's over here. Yeah, I got one smooth stone in there. Give me a button. So we're going to right click this block, because it's right now it's constantly sending power, and we want to set that to pulse mode. So let's put a button on the side. So now it's set to pulse mode. Now when we hit the button, it will actually do its thing. So what do we need first? Well, let's look at the block placer recipe. Uh, let's see, placer. So auto placer. This is what we're going for. We need a basic coil which uses Restonia crystals. If we look at that, we look at the atomic reconstructor, and that uses redstone. So I'm just going to grab like a half a stack of this stuff, so, so we have it, and we're, we just need to toss it right in there and hit the button. Boink. There we go. Restonia crystal. It's good to go. Now, I think it also used the blue crystal. Yep, the palis. Well, you guessed it. The palis is from Lapis, so I'm going to grab like just like 15 of these. And uh, go over here, Boink. and now we've got Payless Crystals. Now this is like the lowest, lowest tier of all of this stuff, so it gets more complicated the deeper you go into this mod. But I first want a basic coil, and then I need the auto placer. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Okay, let's put all of these in here. Let's put the redstone torch in here. And now that we have an auto placer, I would like some more. Where do they go? Item ducks. I might need a few more of these, so let's craft up just a little bit more. Nothing, nothing major, nothing fancy. And this block doesn't need power. And look at the look at the farm going. It's glorious. We probably have a surplus. Oh, well, maybe not yet. Once we get better, yeah, see this is filling up because it can't can't empty this very fast. And it looks like it's working just fine without the the sludge removal. Usually I have to avoid the sludge, but if, if it's going just fine, it's it's good for me. So we're gonna we're gonna fix this up here. I want this 
So that is the auto placer and redstone tor redstone more redstone mode is deactivation. Uh, we just want this thing to run, and we're we're gonna, we're gonna be happy with it when it's just running. We want to funnel the logs into there, and it's beautiful that it's right next door. So hook that up, and it should automatically get a little bit of wood out of it. It might take a minute for the the slow item ducks to, to move their thing, to move those. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. So now if we look, if we can sneak in here, you can see this thing is filling up with logs. And this thing is now just going to run. Then it'll fill this up. Then it'll fill this up. Then it'll fill the pipes. And then it'll fill this up. So this this will just run and run and run and run until it's all full. And uh, we're using the same logs that we're using in our redstone furnaces, which is awesome. So once it's full, it's pretty much all of the logs that it's pulling out right now are going into this. So let's let's help this along. I don't want my furnaces to to misbehave. So let's just fill this up like so and it should be good to go after that and look at even more trees oh it's glorious you can see this thing is having some problems so we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna look into ramping up our tech level here soon oh look at that these are these are now on nice so yeah we got lots of we got lots of power coming through now well, not lots, comparatively speaking, but uh, we got plenty of power to run what we've got. Plus, the next sort of thing we want to do, we got to think about where we want to build our final house too, because that's that's going to be a thing. But we got to start thinking about food as well. Uh, it looks like we've already got some flax seeds growing out here, and yeah, we. I've given up my search for wool. Yeah, just can't find it, huh? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, sheep tend to spawn in interesting places. So you find them in taiga biomes, find them on extreme hills. You find them uh, sometimes in the plains. Most of the time, let's see, there are pigs up here. I haven't done a lot of exploring yet. So we're going to want to do that. Yeah, this is, looks like this is specializing in pigs and chickens up here. Oh yeah, there's pigs for blocks and blocks. Pigs for days. I see cows too. Yay for cows. A few. So yeah, I've, I've got some armor now. So we're going to need to think about what the next... What the next jump in tech is going to be, which I think is going to help. Well, I'm not sure. We want to start our house next, like the, just the basic foundation and dig out the basement and do that work. Or do we want to, because the, the house is going to be pretty big. Anybody who is curious on what the house design is going to look like. It's going to be very similar to what I streamed the last time. So, yeah, it's uh, I'm going to do basically a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build that structure for anybody who struggles with building or making things look good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try to help people out. Okay, so now that we've got a little bit of the ways into actually additions. Uh, we're going to take a step back here, and let's see. We got the auto placer done. So you can look for actually additions. So all these blocks are actually additions. So magnet ring, all of this stuff. Lots and lots of cool things. The, AO, uh, the AIOT, anybody who's curious about that, 
Uh, so there is, you know, the iron and the gold and the diamond and the emerald version, obsidian, black quartz, all these. AIOT stands for all in one tool. So it's an axe, a shovel, a pickaxe, um, and a hoe, I think, all in one tool, which, you know, not really, not really anything that we're going to, we're going to be using. We are going to be using these tools right here, these drills. These things are glorious. And basically, we can actually make this now. The one thing we don't have uh, is, well, yeah, we, we could. These aren't cheap. These things aren't cheap. Diamantine crystals, Inori blocks. Inori is iron. So if we look at this, it's an iron ingot gives us uh, an anori crystal and so yeah these drills are not cheap to make but they're awesome if you can if you have like the battery power and uh, to charge them up oh they're glorious and uh, we're gonna want to do that ASAP for now though we're gonna try if we want to do some mining I would like a void sack we need an ender pearl for that though. Ooh. And some obsidian. So none of that we I don't think we have any ender pearls as of yet. Nope, I've gotten killed by any enderman I yeah. tried to kill. The one I took out didn't give me anything. He was stingy. So that's unfortunate. And our smeltery is now out of completely out of the lava so we have to go out and about and find some stuff so maybe we'll go on a little adventure because it would be nice to get an a, a AE system going but I would I think I think for now what we should focus on is a kitchen uh, so kitchen wise here we go Pam's if we do a search for harvest we have five pages of food and ingredients. That's a lot of stuff to keep track of and to try to try to sort through. So there's another mod called Cooking for Blockheads, and it includes just a few things. I mean, there's not many things. So if you do an at cooking, it just gives you the basics. Uh, so you get a cooking table, an oven, a fridge, a sink, tool rack, a toaster, a milk jar and a sweet, sweet thing called a cow in a jar. We'll get to that. Uh, a mm -hmm. spice rack uh, and uh, two different kitchen counters. And these are all part of a multi-block. It's a free-form multi-block structure uh, that you can tie together and cook Pam stuff much, much easier. Uh, unfortunately, to get to that, we're going to need some terracotta. Lots of terracotta is used in this. And uh, yeah, so we're going to need to go out and find a lot of clay. So I think that should be the next big push is uh, cl finding clay because we don't have very much. We got 24 in there and that's what, six blocks? I mean, that's enough for one, like one counter. Uh, there's two more, so that's eight. Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need some clay. Cause yeah, we need we need the clay. And we need a book. Hmm. In order to get the cooking table. Good lord. I'm still trying to figure out why it does that. But uh, we need the cooking book, which uses a book. We have to smelt a book. In order to get that so I think as far as clay goes so let's see the recipe see world gen yeah world gen we can go out and find it so the sludge refiner you know that's something we could that's something we could work on we have sludge we have a sludge right out there let's try sludge oh no let's type it right uh, sludge refiner we need two furnaces we need two iron gears we need 
another iron gear. <laughs> Give me a golden gear. We need a tin gear. There's so many gears. This mod loves its gears. Uh, we already have the bucket. Now we need the machine frame. We should be able to build it. And I want an extra bucket. I like having two buckets. Okay, we have the sludge refiner. Now what do we do with it? Well, let's go in here, grab item duct. We're going to need some fluid duct. We're going to need the servo. We may even need power. Let's uh, grab a little bit more of that and put that in there. Let's go to the sludge refiner here. Now this thing, I think, is getting power from below. Yes, so we should be able, technically, to put the sludge refiner right down here. I don't even know if it needs power. Oh, it definitely needs power. Okay. So, I would like input items, sludge tank, energy items, energy. I'm not sure how to select. I don't think there's a way to select what this thing gets or what it makes. So now we're getting the sludge. So yeah, there's, you know, we even got some mycelium for crying out loud. And it's out. Now out of sludge. So this is just going to, uh, you know, file in a bunch of stuff. And I think what I'm going to do, now that I'll, you see all of our power is going now, it's glorious. Uh, what we're going to do is get a crate. So let's get a bunch of planks. So I need another one of these. Oh, I need some more sticks. Great. We need some chests. There they are. Now we need the item ducts, which I have. We're going to need another servo. There we go. Some of the ingredients can go away because I'd like not to have this thing back stuff and, you know, stop its sludge work. You know, it's sludge. You know, why not? So let's do output items is going to the right. And item duct and servo and now it should pull those items out now as we put them in here albeit slowly but you know we may get some we may get some clay we may not you never know but look at all the wood we've got in here now I mean, it's just crazy we even have a surplus of, of saplings finally but yeah, we got we got enough wood for a long, long time, and look at our dry rubber is going along awesome, which is oh such a good sight to see. So as this you know as we chop down trees, this will just produce passively different resource blocks for us. So if we look at the sludge refiner and hit you on it. This will give us like all the different things. So all of the different sludge gives us three different pages of stuff. Even soul sand for crying out loud, which is awesome. And one of those, two of those things are actually clay. So while you want 
the clay block, of course, because regular clay is kind of a waste of the sludge. Um, yeah. Uh, if Jay hasn't saw the look of the uses of the sludge, blah, 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 this just dies after that. So, anyway, yeah, we've got, we've got sludge now, which is nice. Sludge refining, it's all good. So we're going to go on a hunt for some clay and maybe some sheep and some bone and some just ma basic materials to uh, get us up to the point of being able to uh, cook some food and uh, maybe give ourselves a, a little boost to our saturation and our health. And, oh, are you out worm hunting? Nope, I got enough string to make a bed. Oh, all right. Well, we can make it stop raining, for crying out loud. All right, this little chest. I did upgrade these two chests here, so all my regular blocks and ores are in here. Ingredients, important stuff goes in here. So far, so good. And then the one back here is for uh, obviously plants, seeds, and ample amounts of pink, pink, pink dye. So there's our first bed. Of course, it's going to be pink. Yay. I found some peonies on my way. Sweet dreams, advancement made. Nice. Oh, and the ouch. <laughs> All right. Well, that set my spawn point. You're going to probably want to sleep next there because uh, I don't know if it just right clicking on it changes that. Yeah, but... it does. Oh, okay. That's good. All right. Well. Looks like another tree is coming down, which means our sludge should be doing really good. Honestly, don't know how much sludge we get, like, per block, but, yeah. Oh, we got some pods all now, too. Sweet. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.